Pharmacokinesis Corporation, a sister company of Engineered Magnetics Incorporated, is developing new medical devices that will revolutionize the practice of solid tumor removal. Occupying a 15,000 square foot facility located in Inglewood, California, Engineered Magnetics has been involved in the design, development, and production of a variety of aircraft instruments and sensors for the Department of Defense and branches of the U.S. military over the past several decades. Pharmacokinesis Corporation is now utilizing these advanced military-related technologies to design systems for civilian applications, paving the way to breakthrough medical technologies such as the advanced CGCI, Catheter Guidance Control and Imaging System. We are now developing a smart delivery system to allow physicians to deploy combinations of medicinal agents directly to localized treatment areas within the patient, namely the tumor fighter. Invented by Josh Shakar, creator of the CGCI, the tumor fighter presents a new approach to solid tumor treatment. The basis of the tumor fighter system is an implantable pump device which involves a piezoelectric valve and pump assembly. The pump is attached to a synthetic pouch containing multiple chambers subdivided to contain three or more therapeutic agents, allowing the pump to dispense combinations of medication. The pump is controlled by an onboard electronic apparatus which is capable of administering medications at the proper dose with the optimal timing and duration of the dose. By regulating the piezoelectric valves, the electronics can control and modulate the delivery of various agents to the tumor site. The electronics also include sensors that can monitor the target region and record events and can then transmit valuable data back to the physician via a programmable interface. The dosage schedule can be interactively modified by the physician during the course of the treatment to achieve the optimal regimen for effective tumor elimination. This coupled with the capability of the localized delivery of combination therapies using biological response modifiers, tumor necrosis factor, and other chemotherapeutic agents will give the physician many more treatment alternatives than are currently possible with systemic delivery methods, as well as a degree of direct control over the tumor itself. The tumor fighter minimizes the harmful side effects to healthy tissues caused by traditional system-wide chemo procedures through proper dosing and scheduling of anti-tumor agents in a localized and optimal setting. The benefits and advantages of the use of the tumor fighter can be clearly and intuitively seen through the examination of the nature of solid tumors and current state-of-the-art methodology for treatment. Solid tumors form when cells exhibit abnormal growth due to damaged or missing genetic instructions. These rogue cells are not uncommon and tend to occur more frequently as the body ages. However, the body's natural immune system usually removes the offending cells on its own, as it is no longer recognized by the body as native tissue. In a very low proportion of these occurrences, a cluster of these cells forms a cyst that resists the host's immune defenses. The cell mass increases in size as the mutated cells demand larger supplies of oxygen and nutrients from the blood. The highly metabolized cells will use five times the resources of normal cells and emit a detectable thermographic signature comparatively as much as two and a half degrees Fahrenheit warmer than surrounding healthy tissue. The increased mass of the cyst exerts a pressure which triggers the formation of connective tissue, an elastic non-porous collagen sheath which masks the tumor cells from antibody response as well as administered medication. The cyst is not recognized as foreign tissue by the host's immune system, rendering the immune response ineffective. The increased demand for nutrients from the blood causes the tumor to produce a crude capillary structure to sustain itself, allowing the tumor to continue to grow. At a certain point, the pressure causes the tumor to burst, and the tumor cells proliferate within the host, a process known as metastasis. At this late stage, the probability of successful treatment becomes very slim. While there are currently several treatment options to combat solid tumors, no magic bullet exists that can successfully eliminate all types of solid tumor growths. The treatment commonly known as chemotherapy involves dosing the patient's entire system with various anti-tumor agents at high levels. This more is better approach is necessary for the treatment to affect the tumor due to its natural refractivity to medication. 
As doctors are currently without a way to deliver the chemo medications directly to the site of the growth, the agents must be administered at systemic doses which pass indirectly to the tumor through the bloodstream, typically either by oral, intravenous, or intramuscular intake, flooding the patient's whole body with the same toxic chemicals intended to harm the tumor. The anti-tumor effects of chemo are increased with higher doses, but the toxicity of the treatment to the patient can cause severe side effects, including nausea and loss of appetite, hair loss, anemia, and decreased immune defenses. Chemo treatments are scheduled by determining the maximum tolerated dose for the patient. The largest possible dose the patient's body can accept will be the most effective to achieve control of tumor growth. Another group of biochemical agents which are now being used against tumors are called biological response modifiers, or BRMs. These are substances which are produced naturally during different stages of cellular activity and include proteins such as interferon, interleukin, and tumor necrosis factor. Unlike drugs, they have pre-programmed mechanisms and receptors available for them to utilize in the body, permitting them to stimulate the production of various kinds of cells with cascading immunological benefits. Like chemo medications, many biological response modifiers also have toxic properties. Yet another important point where BRMs differ from traditional chemotherapeutic medications is that where chemo is administered on the principle of the maximum tolerated dose, the effects of BRMs occur cumulatively as the body responds to the agents and reach optimal efficacy at a point known as peak serum concentration. Past this peak threshold, their effectiveness diminishes and can even inhibit immunological response. Because of this dynamic, BRMs tend to produce minimal results at systemic doses and in some cases cannot be administered at systemic levels at all due to their toxicity. The optimal biological dose is the dose at which the maximum benefit can be achieved during treatment without exceeding the peak serum concentration and typically requires close monitoring of patient response. Many types of biological response modifiers are being used in experimental cancer therapies to determine their potential benefits, which include a broad range of cytokinetic and immunological effects. BRMs can be divided into three major categories according to their applications in tumor treatment. Agents that restore, augment, or modulate the patient's normal immunological mechanisms. Agents that have direct anti-tumor effects. Agents that have other biologic effects, such as interference with the tumor cell's ability to metastasize or survive after metastasis, and the promotion of cell differentiation by lymphocytes. Individually, various BRMs have limited efficacy, but offer much greater possibilities when used in combination with other BRMs, chemo agents, or other traditional therapies. These combination therapies have shown increased cumulative impact, yet due to the limitations of systemic delivery of cytotoxic drugs, doctors are as yet unable to utilize these promising treatment options to their full potential. Since the range of cancers is widely varied, each case essentially requires a tailored treatment program, a combination therapy customized to the patient's specific need as determined by their physician. Local delivery of chemo and other agents to the tumor should yield optimal response with minimal toxicity. However, no such localized delivery device yet exists, nor is there a currently available method to control the modulation of combination therapeutic agents to achieve an optimal biological response. Now, a novel solution to these challenges is embodied in the tumor fighter system. The tumor fighter device is intended to enable doctors to deliver combinations of multiple anti-tumor agents locally to the site of a tumor, with complete control over the delivery schedule and the ability to directly monitor treatment progress. The medications to be used are contained in separate chambers made of collagen, an organic protein found in connective tissue, which is biodegradable. The specific combination of biological response modifiers and other chemotherapeutic agents is determined by the physician based on individual patient need. The collagen chambers are surrounded by a layer of synthetic skin, such as Integra used in burn treatment. This synthetic skin is recognized by the patient's tissue, disguising the device to natural antigenic responses. Attached to the pouch is an electronic apparatus which controls the device. A circuit is imprinted on a substrate of organic celluloid to which the electronics are connected. 
The active electronics control dosing rate and duration and are programmable to deliver a specific regimen of prescribed medications over a given period of time in any desired sequence or combination. The main processor has permanent and temporary memory storage to handle real-time computations and store data lookup tables. Sensors record events at the tumor site and relate quantifiable physiological data back to the physician during the course of the treatment. An RF antenna allows the controller to both transmit recorded information and receive new instructions. The electronics activate piezoelectric valves to dispense the various medicinal agents through the pump assembly. The pump assembly is also composed of celluloid material and is inserted into the reservoir chambers which contain the medications. Each valve operates independently, regulated by the microcontroller, providing sequential and combination delivery capability. The ceramic piezoelectric valve acts as an electrostatic muscle, contracting or expanding according to electrical current. When the ceramic discs contract, a controlled amount of medication is drawn from the reservoir and mixes with extracellular fluid inside the pump. As the valve returns to normal, the displaced volume is dispensed from the pump nozzle. The tumor fighter pouch containing the medications is placed adjacent to a solid tumor through a small incision or by other means of advancement. The pouch is covered with synthetic or artificial skin and is made almost entirely of biodegradable organic materials. Upon command by the programmable electronics, the medicating pouch can then initiate a controlled delivery of the anti-tumor agents. The application of biotherapy with chemotherapy as cancer treatment modalities can be viewed as complementary elements of a complex network of overlapping effects producing a distinct response. Biological response modifiers induce effects which ripple throughout the immune system. A single stimulus can trigger a response from multiple cytokinetic functions including modulating receptor sites and stimulating the production of other agents and cell types. One modality of this approach may stimulate a process known as angiogenesis, the production of new blood vessels which migrate to the tumor to provide a gateway for cytotoxic drugs to permeate the cyst. Localized delivery permits the introduction of chemo agents at concentrations greater than the maximum tolerated dose, without systemic toxic side effects, on a time domain which does not interfere with the activity of the VRMs through selective control of the valve mechanisms built into the apparatus. This also mitigates known factors such as peak serum concentration, whereby the accumulative peak concentration of BRMs are correlated with peak side effects, enabling optimal utilization of responses to BRMs such as interferon, which follow a bell-shaped curve, whereby increased serum concentration correlates to increased bioresponse. This local delivery method will allow innovative new uses of BRMs such as tumor necrosis factor, which can damage the neovascular circulation surrounding tumors without destroying normal tissue. Tumor necrosis factor cannot be administered systemically due to its highly toxic effects which would induce septic shock. By cutting off the tumor's steady supply of nutrients, the now toxified cancer cells begin to diminish, leading to a reduction of the tumor burden which is then verified by thermographic analysis. The cells eventually undergo lysis and are consumed by the body's natural immune function which will also begin to break down the biodegradable tumor fighter pouch, eliminating the need for extraction of the device. While the tumor fighter was designed for the purpose of tumor elimination, it is a versatile device with other applications, such as an implantable anesthetic pump to ease chronic pain of terminally ill patients, and as a research aid during animal testing and the development of new drugs. The Tumor Fighter's onboard electronics can relate data about drug effects to scientists in real time during testing. The proposed Tumor Fighter system offers a novel approach to localized delivery.